Welcome back everyone to How Not To Travel America. The touching tales of two transatlantic twits and their quest to wing their way from Boston to Miami in 30 days as imaginatively as possible. In our first week on the road, we've already had countless hilarious, heartwarming and dramatic interactions with unsuspecting East Coasters and all manner of situations from pickles to triumphs. In terms of the quintessentially American list of challenges we'd assigned ourselves, we'd failed one and completed another. And as for weird and wonderful modes of transport, all we'd managed so far was this hilariously unreliable boat. <laughs> that was all about to change, however, thanks to our newest acquaintance, Nick, who we'd randomly met on Craigslist the day before. Thanks to Nick, not only did we have a roof over our heads, but we also had two crap bicycles waiting patiently in the garage to deliver us to the nation's capital. Capital. In a bizarre twist, Nick also had an adventure-based YouTube channel that had the word wizard in it, and we were about to discover why. So, what is your trail name? First wizard. of all, what is, what is a trail name? A uh, trail name is basically a name that you go by when you're a long-distance hiker uh, okay. or traveler. Um, and yours is? Uh, it's wizard, so I do magic tricks. <laughs> There's two wizards in the room. Yeah, that's why when he said you wizard, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Why don't you go ahead and just pick a card? Okay. Yeah. All right. So you can go ahead and take a look at mm -hmm. it. And actually, it's okay if I see this one. Yep. It's not that kind of trick. Four hearts. Yeah. So the goal of this is I don't want to be able to take this card from you. So go okay. ahead and hold your hand out like this. Yeah. Now hold your other hand on top like this. Yeah. So I'm going to take this card. Put it in between your hands. Can you close your hands together really tight? Yeah. So do not let me get this card from you. Okay. okay. So I have the four of spades. Yeah. So watch. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead and open, it, open up your hand. I love the four of spades. That was <laughs> sick. <laughs> that is magic. Yeah, I do was... like tricks like that. You and I also like to mate. do some, some sleight of hand tricks yeah. so I can make this four. Disappear. <laughs> <laughs> so he said you haven't practiced. That yeah. was a complete lie. I have lie. not practiced. That is one of the like first tricks that I will show people. There's other like funny things, like kind of like clown moves, like. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's one I wish I practiced more, but. <laughs> The next morning, after an excellent kip, Nick introduced us to something called Cracker Barrel, where I witnessed the most American breakfast I've ever seen. So this is pancakes with cheesecake filling inside of the pancakes, <laughs> top of strawberries and whipped cream. And then eggs and bacon. And eggs and bacon. <laughs> I didn't even know it came with that. I just saw a picture of this. I was like, I'm getting this. That is the dog's bollocks. <laughs> Fuel tanks well and truly filled up. It was time to try out our trusty steeds. Lovely job. What are you saying, Greg? Feels like the sort of thing you could take onto a trail and it would also be just mm -hmm. as happy. Yeah. <laughs> so feel I think the suspension, mm -hmm. feel the grip. They're perfect for what we need. Yeah. Do you know what I haven't tried to do in here? What's that? A wheeling. Go on then. Literally in like decades. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely take this one. Okay. I'll definitely take this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like this one. Decade, I'll take that. Right. Decade. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. of course. Obviously, so helpful. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. This and is uh, great. I'll give you your channel a shout out. And yeah, sure. Urge people to come and watch your sure. Yeah, it's just your wizardry. wizardry. Wizard on the trail for everything. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check yeah. it out. Thanks. <laughs> right, we'll be on our way. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Uh, if you guys have anything, anything you need. You know, the next day or two, yeah. leave it. Just give me a call. You know? Legend, man. Yeah. yeah, we've got you've got your number now. Yeah, thank you. You got the tube and the pump. So, do you yeah. know how to do a wheelie? That was better than Tom. Much yeah, that'll do. Tom. Much better than me. So, memorizing Nick's directions, we set off down the road like two 11 year olds in the summer holidays. Do not fear, though. This was not the last time that we would be seeing Nick's friendly face. 
We'd see him 10 seconds later to get the GoPro off him, and we'd also see him again at the Potomac River, where he planned to see us off in style with some cinematic drone shots. Well, we're away, mate. We're, we're on a away. different mode of transport again. Yeah, I'm tired already. <laughs> mate, this is horrible. Oh, no. Heavy pack. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, mate. No, no. It's not going to be easy today. Feels a little bit strange cycling on a road like this dual carriageway with a hard shoulder yeah. almost feels illegal and might be for all we know <laughs> got 10 miles of this great <laughs> we definitely felt like alien beings to the intrigued motorists of frederick but urban sprawl soon made way for open fields into the countryside and no hard shoulder Oh, I wanted to skid then, but I couldn't. <laughs> nice. That was a good I think run. we made like good time on that. Yeah. It's only seven. We only did that in like yeah, you guys just made under great an time. hour. You're almost 15 minutes ahead of where I thought. Yes. Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Historic Park, Nolan's Ferry. So from this point on, it's flat, it's shady. We've got a huge river called the Potomac or the Potomac River. On our right and on our left, there's a canal, a historic canal. And this is gonna take us right into Washington, DC. Oh. Oh. Nick's $500 drone had only been used once on an epic cycling trip around the coast of Iceland. So he figured it would be a morning well spent getting some swanky shots of me and Greg by the riverside. Just two minutes earlier, Nick had been telling us how there were sensors on the drone that would stop it from ever hitting the ground. As it made its way back from the Virginian side of the river, however, disaster struck. I think it's moving pretty fast. Oh my fast, God, man. mate. Do you see it? Yeah. How far? It's directly ahead of us. It's in the middle. It's right in the middle, man. In the middle? Yeah. It's in the I wouldn't do it, man. That was you. Shit, man. How deep is the river there? That's not what I'm worried about. I'm not swimming all the way out there for that thing. No. It's oh, gone. Man. It's flowing. As soon as I saw how low it was getting, I was like, I should stop. For all you've done, that's just not how uh, you want it to end. That's not how it works for me. That's all right. <laughs> like I said, I bought that drone for Iceland. That was my main you got the Iceland. Got it, you got you know? the Iceland Well, we'll footage. definitely yeah. make sure we watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys have to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah just... If you somehow get an email from me with the footage, that would be outstanding. Oh, uh, my God. not going to happen. No. Yeah, you it's okay. Yeah. It happens. Well, more importantly, we had a great time with you. Yes, yes. yes. So, Still worth awesome the experience. Time, man. Yeah. 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 yeah, the memories are worth more. Yes, yeah, exactly. they really are. Put her there, man. Yeah, nice meeting you guys. I'm going to go on a hunt. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Good yeah. luck with it. Enjoy the rest of your guys' journey. Yeah. Thanks, man. We'll keep a lookout, man. Have fun. Cheers, Nick. Bye, yeah. Nick. Thanks a lot. All the best, man. All the best, man. We'll be in touch. Oh, I feel really bad for him there, man. Yeah. Um, like I literally said earlier, like I'm not bothered about going yeah. shots, but he's like, well, I'm going down there anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Well, bittersweet, but we are we are on the road. Look at this, man. Straight as far as the eye can see. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't stop Greg from nearly falling into the potter yeah. <laughs> How many miles do you think we've done? Yeah, I'm going to say 12.4.
I'm going to say 13.8. Oh, 12.2. Oh, fair play, mate. How are you feeling, Greg? Good, man. Enjoying it. The only thing we're worried about really was large gaps in between drink stops and food stops. But we literally found one yeah. way earlier than we thought. Yeah. I'm just really looking forward to DC now. We're going to be there for three, three days now. The main thing that we're looking forward to in DC is a baseball game. And we're going to take it to the extremes. The nth degree. Yeah, we are going to embrace and immerse ourselves in it in the most American fashion you can possibly think of. Well, that's the plan anyway. Yeah. And that will be tomorrow. And beyond that, it's into real hillbilly land uh, in the form of the Shenandoah National Park, yeah. uh, Virginia, where we really, for the first time, will be in the wild, yeah. really remote high altitude places but yeah i can't wait for this dc this next chapter yeah coming up on your right oh mate oh fucking hell man you're gonna go around on the left my nutsack got pinched there it's just the skin of it luckily Oh, it's so warm. There's nothing more Greg and I would like now than to have a dip in there, but we were told that amongst his drone, there was also a lot of garbage and pollution in this river, so. So we pedaled on down the trail where we received a warm welcome text message from Jack, the DC local and subscriber of the channel who was letting us crash at his apartment that evening. 30 miles into the ride and we could almost taste the city suburbs. However, when we spotted a football pitch on the map just east of the village of Seneca, visions of Bratislava came flooding back and we lost our focus. Santa? Oh. Okay, there is a, a myriad of football pitches over here. Really nice pristine pitches. Oh my god. That, that's got a lot. Anyway, it's dead. There's no one on there and we haven't got a football, so it's unlikely, but. Scoring a goal in a soccer match wasn't on our list of challenges this time, but we still desperately wanted to do it. If we could score a goal each in Europe, imagine how many we could score in America, we smugly thought. Oh, mate, I can hear voices over there. Oh, I can, that's the sound of a tennis ball, mate. That's a tennis ball. Mate. Yeah, the next Andy Roddick is practicing, but not the next Clint Dempsey, sadly. But really outdated. <laughs> we would have to wait patiently for our chance to lob a budding Brad Friedel, but it was probably for the best. We were wasting valuable time with our needless little breaks, and as we were about to discover, we still had a painful chunk of miles ahead of us. But it is difficult on these sorts of bikes and uh, the packs on the back, so legs are getting tighter than I thought they would. Yeah. Backside is red yeah, that's the other thing, yeah. Greg came up with an interesting solution to this problem. <laughs> that is quite ridiculous. It's preposterous, isn't it? But I have to say, my backside is far less sore in this position. Mm. Yeah. Many other things aren't too good. So. Many other ailments are <laughs> just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's back. Did it cause? Cause some brief respite, did it? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully for Greg's arse, there was an appealing looking rest stop in the form of a cafe called the Angler's Inn, about 10 miles from where we were. It felt like it was going to be a very long 10 miles indeed, but contrary to what you might expect, the closer we got to the city, the more picturesque our surroundings became and this distracted us from our pains. It's nice. So cool. This must be where the boats start, look. What a place to have your wedding. Things over to our right seem to be hotting up a bit too. Some rapids over there. You can literally hear it. 
What we could hear was the early rumblings of a gigantic waterfall system called the Great Falls, and we were about to see for ourselves what was so great about them. Oh, mate, it looks like some sort of viewpoint. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Um, it's tempting, but then again, not. We were thinking of kayaking this. It's true, our original plan was to source two kayaks rather than bikes and paddle into DC. But we thought the whole thing would be too time consuming. What we were about to see at the end of this wooden walkway would make us very glad that we opted for wheels. Jesus Christ. We could have stood in this spot all day. No, seriously, we had an hour of sunlight left. What we didn't have, however, was bike lights or helmets. So unless we wanted to cycle into the city center in the dark, we needed to get a move on. Fables! Some canal this has turned out to be. We're approaching DC, approaching food, and uh, it's getting more and more beautiful as we go. Hi. The main flaw in our now optimistic plan to reach DC safely were the cavernous holes in our stomachs which badly needed filling. I think we'd envisioned getting a quick panini to go at the Angler's Inn, but far from being the little cafe stop for cyclists that we'd imagined, it was actually a very fancy restaurant. In our starving states though, this didn't really seem to matter. Oh mate. This looks amazing. It looks beautiful. We are way underdressed and uh, underprepared for these prices. <laughs> Having been greeted surprisingly enthusiastically by the host, considering our cheap, sweaty attire, we began to face the reality of the bike situation. So we could get to Georgetown if we ate up here quick. Get to Georgetown, but that's still 12 miles. 13 miles away, yeah. So that would take us an hour and a half. Yeah, so it'd still get dark, wouldn't it? It would get dark, definitely, yeah. The darkness was kind of crucial, partly because of the lights thing, but also because we'd planned to donate the bikes to some suitably deserving targets. Kind of like what we did at the very end of How Not To Travel Europe. By the time we'd finished our impeccable pasta dishes, our options were really running out. We're meant to be at Jack's house by half seven. No, by seven, no. By about seven. Twenty minutes. Oh, twenty minutes. It would take us at two least hours, probably. probably at least two hours to get there, and it's going to be dark in half an hour. The only solution to the problem that we could think of will seem quite familiar to you. As was the case the first time, it was a bit of a long shot, but if we could pull it off, it would be about as perfect as we could hope for at this stage. Shuffling subserviently between all the snooty millionaire customers that surrounded us was a middle-aged Spanish-speaking waiter. Most of the staff there were in fact foreign and exceptionally good at their jobs, but this man stood out to us. He was a lovely, gentle figure who hardly said a word, but who, with each visit to our table, warmed us with his humble smile and his attentive care. He was the kind of man who you just know is an incredibly dedicated grandfather to six adoring grandchildren. It was a bit of a pipe dream that the man himself would get or even want the bikes, but I went and spoke to the friendly hostess to see if she could think of anyone who might want them. What happened? She responded quite well. Really? She loved, she was very smiley, she loved the idea. Yeah. And she's going to ask her manager. Yeah. I just said, can you think of anyone in the team? You know, I was looking over at our man, but I didn't he want to. Came over didn't to want to mention stuff away. Did it? I was oh, God, it melts my, my heart. Together, but, uh, <laughs> Best case scenario, it's our man, the waiter. He is adorable. So. Oh, he's going over to look. <laughs> Go over there, man. Shall I? Go explain it. 
With the owner of the restaurant now intrigued, this was the time to sell our story. You can't, you can't ride them, they've got no lights on them, okay. so it's too dangerous. So oh, we have yeah, to, that is true. Do you know true. what I mean? So we yeah. have to okay, get rid of you welcome. Appreciate Do you like them? It, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Our uh, one of my coworkers, I was telling him he rides his bike to and from work. Oh, really? So the black and red one would be good for him because he's like your height. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good, and good. the other one will find you. Of, Great. Of it. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, that makes us thank, happy. Thank you yeah, guys yeah, that so genuinely much. Makes That's you really happy. nice of yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Someone we don't know who it is, but. One of the staff is having one because he actually commutes to work. And then, but initially they only said one. They said, we'll take one. And I was like, ooh. They're a package deal. <laughs> well, you're having two or nothing, you know. No, I, I said, um, I can't tempt you with the other one. Um, and he said, I can give it to my godson. Oh, brilliant. So, good. absolute result, mate. Result, mate. Result. 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 Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely. So, which one is mine? The blue one? Ah. Oh, you want one? I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Why, why are you giving them? We are traveling oh. from Boston to Miami. Okay. Uh, using lots of different transport, like okay. bikes, boats. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. various things. Yeah. When is the, the end of the boat trip? Uh, please stop here, but for Thomas. Oh, yeah. 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 Boat, you can have the boat then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> down the falls. <laughs> next time, if you stop here, I will drink. Oh, oh thank, you. thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, oh. I just hope it's going to him. I really would. Really yeah. Do. Well, to be fair, either. I think he's been bypassed, mate. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> he's like looking at them longingly right now. <laughs> <laughs> we now knew that the blue bike was going to the owner, but we still didn't know who the mystery worker who would inherit my bike was. With 10 minutes until our Uber would whisk us off to Jack's gaff, I went for one last venture into the bowels of the restaurant to see if I could find out exactly who the bike was going to. Right, what's happened? Well, not only did we get these beers for free, but guess who's having the bike? No, you're joking. No, I'm not. <laughs> him and the guy with the moustache. Mate, you are joking. I'm not kidding, man. I, asked him. I had to know, man. I had to know. <laughs> I'm so happy, mate. That's... <laughs> Honestly. That is one of the best, mate. That is... Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, this song! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this played at Verity's nan's funeral. I might shed a tear, man. I mean, it's, I'm emotional. I mean. <laughs> that is that is just wonderful. Oh. See, if you're generous, sometimes it's worth it, and it goes to the right places. <laughs> this time. Oh, I could cry. I'm overjoyed. Well. I guess not everything could go our way. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> Do you want a hat as well, mate? Oh, no. <laughs> Apart from being shat on, one of the best things about this whole situation was that all the rich people who had been sat around us, some of whom had been looking over at us quite judgmentally, like this guy, for example, were now watching us leave on a metaphorical red carpet. Managers and owners taking the time to thank us, shake our hands and guide us out as if we were the important ones. Take care, yeah. nice to meet you guys. See you later. I hope they enjoy the bikes. Yeah. You will. I yeah. We don't often get to give back in this way. It happened with the kayaks in Italy, but somehow this one felt just as special. We may have failed to complete yet another one of our mini transport based adventures, but thanks to the lovely staff at the Old Anglers Inn, and of course Nick, who I can assure you is in the best of spirits following his drone accident, we had another wonderful story to add to our ever growing collection. I just wanted to say mate, how refreshing it is, I know it's only been 8 days, to hear a fellow British voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. See we'll be a scouser. But yeah. <laughs> a couple of soccer balls yeah. down there. Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and even even that lovely little. I was going to say that ain't, that ain't the US. I'll tell you. That's that. bringing a tear to my eye. My uncle painted that. Really? really? That's, that's a true story. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. It's a lovely, yeah. lovely painting. Introducing yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack. 
fellow Brit who decided to escape Merseyside 10 years ago for DC and never looked back. Staying with a fan or subscriber wasn't something we planned to do unless they could offer us something a bit different, something grand or distinctly American. Now Jack may have been British, although we had no idea until we were right outside his house, but what he had in store for us the next morning, courtesy of a well-connected friend, was about as American as it gets. Okay, this is gonna be fucking hard to film this. I might not be able to film this too much, guys. Slow down, Greg. I've gotta film somehow. Well, this is technically another mode of transport on our long list. Electric scooter. When I was young, it seemed the life was so magical. Morning. Okay, we are approaching the White House. We are late. Question is, can we park our scooters here? Anywhere around here. The answer to that question was no. Come on. And the answer to your question is that Jack had fixed us up with a free tour of the White House. As it happens, we weren't actually allowed to film any of it. So I'll show you a few pictures from inside, followed by mine and Greg's attempt at a thumbnail, followed by a brief summary of our thoughts. Well, that was the White House. What do you think, Greg? We got in, it was... As presidential as expected, very fortunate to get that experience. Yeah. It was a nice way to start the day. Biden wasn't in. Old Joey boy wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't in today. Apparently he left yesterday. Yeah. He heard we were coming. But yeah, no, it's a really, really good experience. Especially as we didn't pay a bean for it, so. But what else did we have in store that day? So as I may have explained to you yesterday, me and Greg are gonna go to a baseball game this afternoon. Uh, we've done the White House tour, that was great. The baseball is the main event. And what we really want to do is just dress up in the most over-the-top, super fan kind of regalia that you can possibly imagine. Face paint, you know, jerseys, bandanas, flags, bandanas, flags, yeah. scarves, the lot. Just scarves, just it's like 30 degrees. But I don't care. <laughs> what we really want to do is get on dance camp, which we've been, we, we're pretty confident about that we will make that happen. But what we're just trying to do now is uh, book ourselves a top face painter. <laughs> I mean, no, a really, I mean, <laughs> they're not gonna be that good. But like, you know, <laughs> a professional face painter. They're gonna meet us at our Airbnb. But that will be after we've been to the store, the baseball store, to buy, to just basically <laughs> rinse the shop dry of everything they've got. <laughs> After finding out that it would be cheaper to commission a professional portrait than to get our faces painted, we scooted our way down to Walmart in the hopes that we could find our own DIY face paints. We did find a bulky set, but were talked out of purchasing it by this security guard, who was 100% sure that there would be face painters outside the stadium before the match. So, happy that that side of things was taken care of, we scooted the remaining two and a half miles down past the absolutely iconic Capitol building and yeah. towards the Nationals baseball stadium, where we instantly met a bloke who told us the complete opposite. Yeah, we asked the guy and he was like adamant that they do face paint outside before the game, but I don't think so. Really? really? Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it's not really that type of uh, like if you get a uh, like American football and right. like they're they're more into that or okay. DC United across the street that's MLS. But baseball is like more I don't know casual. Yeah. Thanks All anyway, right, man. Yeah, thanks anyway. a lot, man. Thanks. Cheers. We'll see you around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see us on the dance cam, mate. Believe you me. Yeah. In the official store, it was time to hunt for some stereotypical ball game gear. Let's see what they got for us here. That's oh that is so American. Got flag here. It could be draped in a flag. Yeah, this. Oh yeah, that's classic. Yeah, yeah, that was classic. It's a large child, but it's actually like baggy on you. It's actually too big. And Greg, like, Greg's literally got a child's extra large. Child extra large, and it's, it's like a glove on me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Exactly. Absolutely awful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Is that yeah, sufficiently yeah. shit enough? Yeah. I think it needs to be shitter. We need to look shitter than yeah, this. Yeah, oh, oh, we will. Yeah. But it's, it's getting there. It's getting, getting there. there. Yeah, yeah. We'd found some decent stuff, but none of it was blowing us away. Then we found it. I think it might have to be that, it mate. It might have to be this. I mean, is there a more American thing than this than you can wear? Resounding, resounding nose, mate. It's just painfully. Come on, what gives? Come on, man! <laughs> It's gotta be, man. They're more expensive, but they we can save a bit of money by going to another shop yeah. to get shorts and a white I mean, white realistically, t-shirt. $30, $60 in total extra for golden, golden gold, American gear. It's almost a gear. costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It no, is a costume. Too, it is. <laughs> that people regularly wear. We looked to the friendly staff, who gave us a 10% discount, by the way, for some further advice. Is there anything else you guys think of that we want to look like the biggest super fans that's oh, ever walked the I mean, Even you got the jacket, and the flag. I, know the I think you're pretty much set. <laughs> <sad. laughs> we need to yeah. get some shorts. Some uh, shorts. Uh, we don't sell pants, but um, red is always our main so, color. So we should get red shorts. Yeah, red yes. shorts. Okay. Yeah, like red and blue. Yeah, red and blue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a Walmart or something. Oh, Walmart. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Are back in Walmart. <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, red shorts. Yeah. They are perfect colours though. They man. are perfect colours. They, they really are perfect look like colours. Like Julie, can we try them on? Somewhere? Let's try them on. <laughs> After no more than five minutes of browsing, this guy's worldly advice had already paid off and our outfits were complete. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. You know what I'm Mate, those colours are so good. How oh, are they so good? That must be intentional. Yo, that was never it. We'd saved a few nickels at Walmart, but time was now ticking on. We didn't help matters by doing another U-turn on the face paints and searching two more stores near the Airbnb. But we finally found a set on one of the endless Halloween aisles in Target. And with that, it was time to put the icing on our already outrageous outfits. <laughs> it's just, it's like I'm, I'm rubbing it off as I go. Do you need to wet it? Or? Yeah, a, a tiny bit, I think, yeah. As you can probably tell, neither of us are particularly experienced in the makeup face paint department, and we spent a good while trying to dab dryish paint onto our faces with a tiny sponge. What is it not coming off? No, it is. Uh, just feel really sort of feminine. <laughs> Before we realised how shit we were at this, we had envisioned something more like this for ourselves. In fact, this whole over-the-top costume idea was partly inspired by this exact scene from the Jim Carrey film Yes Man. Things were still looking a bit amateur in comparison, but then we found a paintbrush in the packet and that changed the game. That is good. Yeah, that is. That's Lo and behold. That's exactly what we need, isn't it? Lo and behold, the brush works. Maybe those pads are for like cleaning it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is so much better. <laughs> this is what happens when you get two men, two fiddling around, yeah, doing makeup. Oh, mate, that is rich. Look at that. It's a beautiful colour. Fuck it out. God, we will be the talk of the town, <laughs> mate. Check this out, guys. You laughed at us at first, didn't you? <laughs> You laughed at us. You still, still are. Still are. You definitely still, still are. are. But still, we've got a Blackburn Rovers fan. <laughs> it's like on Sky Sports where they have to give like a a nondescript team fake, uh, <laughs> fake yeah, team, yeah, yeah. fake fans, yeah, like yeah. a betting advert. Yeah, exactly <laughs> a betting advert. Yeah. Right, time to get the clothes on now, man. See what it all oh, looks like. Oh boy, the full package. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> this. Get your finger on, mate. Woo! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> There's a family upstairs in the water. I'm really thin. 
so I was bad. like, imagine them peeking out the car. It's <laughs> only <laughs> into it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My outfit certainly felt dance cam worthy and Greg's was no different. Yeah, go. <laughs> that, is, that is so American, man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> We're all dressed up. We're all dressed up. Uber it's, drivers. Uh, Uber drivers pulling up. It's time to brave the outside world. We haven't had a single beer and we are <laughs> so embarrassed. It's, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh God, what car are we looking at for? Oh fuck it, let's embrace it. Four, five, three, two. Yeah! Come yeah. on, the national! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so <laughs> <laughs> the shittest team as well, apparently. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mate. You can leave the house. No, no. <laughs> the Wi-Fi won't Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> That embarrassing. Greg wouldn't be able to hide away for much longer. Hi. <laughs> Even in the normally judgment-free oh, yeah. environment of the Uber car, there was cruel laughter. <laughs> it's it's a baseball game. Baseball. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, uh, we, yeah. So the thing is, we're doing it for a joke. We don't what? actually know the rules of baseball. Oh we, no! No. <laughs> yeah. We know nothing about baseball. Nothing. We're first fans. Looking nowhere so funny, near though. as keen as we are. No. Nowhere near as hardcore fans. <laughs> The hardcore fans usually gather at a place called the Bullpen, where Greg and I badly needed to consume a large beer before we did anything else. Okay, have a great day. Good luck. Best of luck with everything. <laughs> Come on, the <laughs> We didn't notice it at the time, but we actually received a hurtful comment before we'd even yeah. entered the Bullpen. Inside, we started to get a real sense that we might stick out way more than we had initially thought. On a scale of one to ten, how American do we look? Are you wanting yeah. to be serious? Like a six. Oh, 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 six. Six. six! What do we need to this do? This is a football time. Oh, what? Yeah, but how look American? Look at me, fan, and look at everybody else. I know, we are the odd ones out. <laughs> I, I do agree. We may have been the odd ones out, but in terms of our ultimate goal of getting onto the dance cam, that could surely only work in our favour. One small issue was that we didn't actually have tickets for the game. We were told that it would be easy to get them, but just to be safe, we headed on over to the ticket office. Come on, the Nationals. Come on, the Nationals. Come on, the Nationals. <laughs> Madly enough, our enthusiastic chants seemed to already be working, as the bloke behind us in the queue, a family man called Joe, offered to get us into the stadium for free. We weren't even trying to achieve that on this occasion, he just kind of offered. He reckoned that if he purchased two extra cheap $5 tickets on his club card, me and Greg could sit pretty much anywhere else and no one would check our tickets. He wouldn't even take any money off us either. What a legend. Inside the stadium, our eyes were treated to an unforgettable sight. Oh, look at this, mate. This is... Somebody... So nuts! <laughs> Somebody give me a corn dog, man. Nah, I'm not kidding. Look at that. It's our first time. <laughs> I have a four ounce can. Of yeah, an American sized can. I am overwhelmed at how American this is, man, <laughs> honestly. And the funny thing is, people, all the Americans here, think that we're the most American people. Either that or they just think we're stupid. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Should we just walk right into wherever we want? Oh, yeah, let's go so, straight to Diamond Club. Yeah, so that's the thing. With utter yeah, so far, we've, we, people have just let us in without ID and everything. So what we're thinking now is we're just going to waltz in to the best seats in the house. Okay, we're in. Oh, 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 oh. 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 as 
as if, man, the first step we take into this place. The ball lands near us. <laughs> it was around this time that we started to suspect that we were the only people in the entire stadium with face paints on. On the plus side, we were one foam finger away from the Diamond League seats, and the staff could not have been more supportive. It is the third inning beer tank, go back. Maybe soon. I like it, I like it. Like the passion, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're full of Good. passion. <laughs> I hear you, <laughs> 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 You've never seen such dedication. Never seen such dedication. <laughs> Face painters are very important. We couldn't, be, we couldn't be happier to hear that. Man. As great as our seats were for watching the action unfold on the pitch, however, we weren't really sure how good they were for a potential dance cam appearance. After 40 minutes, the only people we'd seen on the big screen were giant versions of Abraham Lincoln and George Washington beating the shit out of each other. So we decided to explore and see if we could find a more happening spot. I would give you a good nine. Good nine, nine solid nine. You're going ten. Like look at us. Like you're you're yeah. all above us. Right. Thank you. No ten for sure. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Great to meet you all. Come on, let's go now. Let's go now. Let's go now. <laughs> Our new cheerful friends assured us that as long as we kept visible and kept dancing, we had as good a chance as anyone in that stadium. So that's what we did. As you can see, the jumbo beers had eradicated any embarrassment at this point, but they also magnified the feeling that we could and should be doing more than simply dancing. We'd seen an MC type figure on the screen a couple of times, so we left spot number two and made it our quest to find him. He could have been anywhere in that stadium, but he wasn't. He was right next to our original seats. Have we spoke to him? No, 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 I found him. Hey man, sorry, can we interrupt you? What's up? You guys are great. Yeah. So could we, is there any way you could MC us and we can be all mad about it? I'm, I'm done already. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Serious? Yeah. I'm sorry. Shit. Oh, are, you guys, are you guys sitting down here? Yeah, we're, we're wandering well, around. We're, we're wandering around trying to find the best spot to get onto the. The MC wasn't brimming with enthusiasm, but he did have a little chat with the camera woman for us. So, like, if we got them in seats right down here, we will dance our asses off. We will dance till we'll dance till the cows come home. We need Even. a handheld camera. They wanted to help, but the problem was they needed a handheld cameraman down there to film the stand. We then had to convince the suspicious MC that it was worth it for them to make the call. So me and Greg had to put on our best persuasive, albeit slightly annoyingly drunk charm. Um, all right, yeah, I'll see if I can get a, a handout over here. I can't make any promises. I can try calling them on my right now. That'd be awful. I mean, we will dance, we will pull moves that you've never seen we, before. We will, yeah, as long as it's appropriate. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, find a spot like, like just down there, somewhere towards the aisle. Towards the aisle? Yeah, okay. Because it'll be easy to find, I'll tell you. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. And so, the stage was about as set as it was ever going to be. All we had to do was give the GoPro to the people behind us and start dancing. Then, the most American song I've ever heard started playing. Wait, you have to do this! You have to do this! Take me out to the ball game! Take me out to the ground! Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks! I'm so curious I'll never get back for a thrill! And then, something amazingly predictable happened. Yep, we'd gotten on the dance cam and we didn't even notice. It was a carbon copy of what we've all seen a million times where the person notices at the exact moment the camera changes. 
Here it is from another angle. As much as I'd have been happy with that hilarious bit of buffoonery, there were strong calls coming from behind us that this particular game wasn't over. To our absolute amazement, we had smashed our goal, and then some. We made an entire stadium laugh at us, or quite possibly cringe. We had a lovely army of supporters in our immediate vicinity, who not only captured the moment on film, but almost definitely made our main appearance happen with their vigorous prompts. And to cap it all off, Greg even had time to catch a t-shirt in the middle of it all. But who the hell was filming from the nosebleeds, I hear many of you ask? Well, it was none other than Ella. She was visiting her sister and friends for the weekend, and they all came to the game to laugh at us and film us, both of which they did excellently. These people we met in the bullpit were actually Ella's friends. But what was next for us? Well, against all odds and expectations, the Nationals had come from behind and were now engaged in a gripping battle with pre-match favourites, the Miami Marlins. I didn't actually get it on camera, but the wild reaction you're seeing now was because Nationals batter Joey Manessez hit an inside the park home run, something that's only happened eight times in the Nationals history. We were told that we were truly lucky to witness that. And shortly after that, we were told to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe the tickets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, thank you. Where are the tickets? Oh, no, some guy got the tickets. I've seen you move all over the park. I don't know if you can't do anything. We may have been fan favourites in our stand, but we had been firmly ejected from it. We were actually asked to leave the stadium too, but we had a better idea. The immense cheer you're starting to hear was because the Nats were heroically edging out the Marlins and not because Greg was coming into view. Maybe it was a bit of both. Are you sure it's on the cam? Yeah, I did. Oh, thanks, man. You guys are famous. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Up on the nosebleeds, the celebrations continued with Ella and the gang, but then everything got quite serious and quiet. Our beloved Nats were on the cusp of a historic win, and even the baseball fans among you will find this hard to believe, but it all came down to the very last ball.
And with that fairy tale ending, which at no point I understood, it was time to make our triumphant way out of the stadium. Before the game, I had a bet with Corbin, nephew of hippie Uncle Bob of Rhode Island, $20 that the Nats would lose. I very rarely win bets, so I like to think that that's why the Nats won that night. Now, we've already bored you with enough gratuitous piss-ups in this series, and although if any night deserved one, it was this pulsating post-win Friday, I decided to spare you the inconvenience. Right, guys, um, for, reason, for sensible reasons, especially for the amount of beers I've had, yeah. I'm gonna lock this GoPro and all the footage that's within it in away pocket. in a zip pocket so that it can't get lost. Yeah. So whatever Wise happens idea. tonight, yeah, yeah. shut up you. Whatever happens tonight will not be caught on camera, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's... Unless it's that good. Unless it, it well, it may come out and yeah, we may yeah, lose yeah. it still, but <laughs> it's going away in the pocket. So I apologize. That is it, isn't it? The 18, nice little logo. Good grief, that is a sight. We are going through, aren't we? Private property. What the guns in use? 62 Cadillac Fleetwood. And we're about to get a ride in it. Uh, 